Henson is back out, and in fact, he is coming to the scorer's table as May will drive in hard from the right sideline and float it up and home. Score eight to seven as a backdoor cut by Pitt is knocked loose into the hands of Stewart, who airballs a three. Here come the heels down one in transition. Barry steps into a triple and knocks it home. Boy, they just, they just missed him. They ran right by Barry. Pitt is four of seven shooting, including three threes. Cutting Brooks on the inbounds is able to muscle it up and over to Luca for two. That was a great pass because the timing was right. Six lead change already as now Pitts up 14 to 12. Pinson lobs it down low to Manley who dunks it right through the defense. Cameron Johnson in the front court for Carolina between the circles. Now to Pinson. Pitt has been in a zone a large majority of this half. Carolina gets it left corner to Johnson. Pump fake on the three. Drives in and throws it home. That's one that's been open quite a bit for Pitt. Cameron Johnson, tough three, no good. Pinson tips the rebound to May, puts it home, and he's fouled. That was really quite a, it was quite a move. It came off the rim into Pinson's hands. Pinson had both of his hands up above of his head, and, and almost as he just, it touched his fingertips. He gets the inbounds down the left sideline. Johnson and Williams, a combined two of ten. Barry, left corner three, yes. He's got, a, he's got about a 15-foot wide open. Wilson Frame just throws his shoulder into Barry to bump him off, misses the layup. Carolina the other way. Cameron Johnson, heavy traffic. Give him the layup with the left hand, and he's going to the line. Well, again, I think the best way to describe that is just being intentional. As the inbounds goes to Chukwuka in a battle with Garrison Brooks. His pass knocked away by Barry into the backcourt. Brooks tries to dive to save it, still being knocked around. Brooks to the floor again to Johnson for two. How about the effort by the freshman? He just wanted it more than anybody else. You got to love the effort because that we've seen that on multiple occasions. Kenny Williams against the pit zone. Right sideline, Cameron Johnson. Bounce pass, corner right to May. Pump fake for three. Takes a step to his left and drains it. Well, he's hit two from there, the only two that he's hit from behind the arc. You can see it in their assist production. 16 of their 18 made field goals are assisted. They're working really hard. Kenny Williams for three, yes, from the right wing. Looked like that was drawn up for him. Barry threw it to May at the free throw line. Almost a touch pass to Williams as Kenny Williams has it. Johnson's made 12 three-pointers against Clemson and then 12 against all other opponents coming into tonight. Kenny Williams has a good look for a three. Right corner. Watch out. And people will say, it's Pitt. You should win. Uh, but that's the kind of effort that it will take. Boy, May, pump fake from the top, just drove right by Ellie Goma. Pushes up high to play tech. Quickly out of his hands to Pinson left side. Rifles the pass right corner to Barry. Catch and shoot three, spins out. Brooks with the strong rebound. Goes back up, scores, and he's fouled. Foul is on Ellie Goma and Garrison Brooks with the opportunity for the three-point play. And that's number, I think that's number 10. Yeah, no points, but 10 rebounds and five assists. Brooks gets good position. Misses! Oh, oh my oh. goodness! Pinson with the rebound, took it from his hip and threw it down. Oh, now he has some points. That, that was, was nasty. That was dunk of the year for the Heels. So Brown's had a really nice half. He has 10 this half, 14 for the game. Pinson undercut as he drives, sends it out, ends up to Kenny Williams for three more. That Kenny Williams has made three or more three-point field goals. So digest all of that as Williams throws the lob to May for the easy two. Brooks over to Playtech. Fires it down low to Brooks on the right block. Spins into the paint, fall away, good. Garrison Brooks has really had a nice night, and now he's in double figures with 10. Roy Williams tells Kane to slow it down, and he will run out the clock. Two good friends, Roy Williams and Kevin Stallings, shake hands at midcourt. It's been a long year for the Panthers, and it gets a little longer tonight.